what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now look at this question on the board which says if a plus b is equal to one and a squared plus b squared is equal to two find the value of a to power 11 plus b to power 11. well our first step will be to take this second equation which is a squared plus b squared equal to two and express this on the left hand side as a plus b so i'm going to be writing a plus b squared minus 2ab so a squared plus b squared can be expressed like this equal to 2. now remember that our first equation says a plus b is equal to 1 so this expression is 1 squared minus 2ab equal to 2. so this becomes 2ab to be equal to because as i move this man to this other side i'll be having a positive side of it the one squared is one and as two crosses it becomes negative two so two ab is equal to one minus two that's negative one so ab will be equal to dividing both sides by two i get negative one all over two so this is a very important expression that we're going to be using to solve now our next step will be to multiply equation one and two so equation one is a plus b multiplied by equation two which is a squared plus b squared equation one that is one times equation two is two so let's open up these brackets so opening i'm going to be having a into a squared plus b squared plus b times a squared plus b squared i believe you are familiar with this type of expansion so one times two that is two so let's expand the first bracket so we have a cube plus a b squared plus this is a squared b plus b cube equal to two now notice that i'm going to be having a cube here plus now a b is common from here so let's bring it out a b so leaving behind a plus b now plus b cube equal to two so i'm going to be moving this other item to the right hand side leaving behind a cube plus b cube to be equal to two minus as a b times a plus b crosses it becomes negative a b times a plus b now let's substitute this expression remember i've already got a b here and i have a plus b as equation one so let's substitute that so that we have a cube plus b cube so this will be equal to two minus a b is negative one over two so let's put it there negative one over two times a plus b that's one so this expression is going to give us a cube plus b cube to be equal to two plus 1 all over 2 which gives a result of 5 all over 2 now our next step will be to take this a cube plus b cube and square both sides so let's go ahead and do that in our next slide so let's square both sides i'm going to be squaring the left hand side and i'm also going to be squaring the right hand side but it is quite good if i write this again because i'm going to be using this so i have a cube plus b cube i'm going to be squaring the left hand side and i'm also going to be squaring the right hand side so on squaring the left hand side i'm going to be having a to power six plus two times a b cube are you seeing that very good then plus b to power six equal to squaring the right hand side you notice that this square is affecting the numerator and the denominator so there we have 25 all over 4. now notice we've already got a b and what is a b let's check that out a b is equal to negative 1 all over 2. so i'm going to be substituting negative 1 all over 2 for a b so we have a to the power 6 plus 2 now i'm going to be putting negative 1 all over 2 for a b to the power of 3 plus b to the power 6 this is equal to 25 all over 4. 
Now, this yields a to the power 6 plus 2 times. Now, notice that when I cube this expression, I'm going to be having negative 1 all over 8. That's it. Now, plus b to the power 6 equal to 25 all over 4. Now, this yields a to the power 6 minus. Now, what here? 2 here, 1. 2 here gives what? 4. That's negative 1 all over 4 plus b to the power 6 equal to 25 all over 4. Now, I'm going to be leaving this a to the power 6 plus b to the power 6 on the left. So, a to the power 6 plus b to the power 6 on the left equal to 25 over 4. And as I move negative 1 all over 4 to the right, I'm going to be having plus 1 all over 4. Now, this expression becomes a to the power 6 plus b to the power 6 to be equal to 26 all over 4. We can actually break this one down because 2 can go into 26 to yield 13. 2 can go into 4 to yield 2. So, a to the power 6 plus b to the power 6 gives 13 all over 2. This is an important expression too, to behold, because this will help us to get our final answer. Now, I know when I get a to the power 5 plus b to the power 5 and multiply by this, I'm going to be having my final answer. So, let's try and get a to the power 5 plus b to the power 5. But how do we do that? We do that simply by multiplying a to the power 2 plus b to the power 2 by a to the power 3 plus b to the power 3. So when I multiply these two expressions, I'm going to be having a to the power 5 plus b to the power 5. So let's do that. So what is a to the power 2 plus b to the power 2? As the question says, that is 2. Now times, what is a to the power 3 plus b to the power 3? We've already got that to be 5 all over 2. So let's expand. So we have a simple expansion process, a cubed plus b cubed plus b squared times a cubed plus b cubed. And now notice that this 2 goes away, leaving behind 5. So let's expand. This gives us a to the power 5 plus a squared b to the power 3 plus, expanding this other side, I'm going to be having a to the power 3 b squared plus b to the power 5. So this is equal to 5. So let's try to factorize. So we have a to the power 5 plus, now notice that a to the power 2 and b to the power 2 are common. So we can just group that together, a, b to the power 2, now leaving behind a plus b. That's it. So plus b to the power 5 to be equal to 5. Now, I can actually bring these two together as a to the power 5 plus b to the power 5. Now, plus... What is AB? Remember, we've got negative 1 over 2 as AB, and we're going to be squaring that. And A plus B from the question is 1 equal to 5. Now, we have A to the power 5 plus B to the power 5 as, remember, when I square this, I'm going to be having a positive value from here, times 1, I'll be having the same thing. So, the square of negative 1 over 2 is going to yield 1 all over 4. So this is equal to 5. Now, making a to the power 5 plus b to the power 5 the subject, I'm going to be having 5. And as this crosses, it becomes negative 1 all over 4. Now, a to the power 5 plus b to the power 5 will be equal to 5 times 4, that's 20, minus 1. I've got 19 all over 4. Remember what I said the other time? The only way we can have a to 11 plus b to 11 is when I multiply a to the power 5 plus b to the power 5 by a to the power 6 plus b to the power 6. So let's go ahead and do that so we can be able to get our final answer. So I'm multiplying a to the power 5 plus b to the power 5 by a to the power 6 plus b to the power 6. This will be equal to, what is a to the power 5 plus b to the power 5? We got 19 over 4 times. Now, what is a to the power 6 plus b to the power 6? Let's check that out. So, we got a to the power 6 plus b to the power 6 to be equal to 13 over 2. So, let's put that there. 
So I'm going to be multiplying by 13 all over 2. So let's open up this bracket. So this becomes 8 to the power 5, which is our normal traditional way of opening a bracket. B to the power 5 times A to the power 6 plus B to the power 6. This will be equal to, so 19 times 13 is 247, all over 4 times 2, that's 8. So let's expand this first bracket. When I expand the first bracket, I get A to 11 plus A to 5, B to 6. Plus, let's expand the other bracket. So I get A to power 6, B to power 5, plus B to power 11. So this is equal to 247 all over 8. So we'll try to factorize what we have in the middle. So we have A to 11 plus, what's common? You notice that A to the fifth is common and B to the fifth is also common. So we're going to be grouping them together, A, B to the fifth. So we have A plus B. That's good. Now, plus B to 11. So this is equal to 247 all over 8. So we have A to 11 plus AB. Remember, we've got negative 1 over 2 for that. Now, raised to power 5. A plus B is 1. Remember, now plus B to 11. So this is equal to 247 all over 8. Now, watch. When I multiply this by 1, I get the same result, right? Cool. So, negative 1 over 2 raised to power 5, what am I going to be getting? Well, this gives negative 1 all over 32. That's it. Now, plus b to 11, this is equal to 247 all over 8. So, now let's slide to the next page to get our final answer. So we're going to be moving this negative 1 over 32 to the right hand side so that we have a to power 11 plus b to power 11, which is what the question requires us to find to be equal to 247 over 8. Now, when this crosses, it becomes plus 1 over 32. So a to 11 plus b to power 11 will be equal to. Now, I'm going to be looking for the LCM. Of 8 and 32, which is 32, obviously. So, 8, 32 divided by 8, and that's 4, times 247, there I get 988, plus 32 into 32, that's 1 times 1, and this is 1. And looking at this, we're going to be getting 989 over 32, and there you have it. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.